Hi guys, it's Jen doing my 12th process video. Uh, for this video, I am using my March hip kit. And uh, you'll see right here, um, I just could not use a full sheet of pattern paper. I was only able to get the main kit and I wanted to use the back of some of that. So I'm actually gonna go to my stash this time for the background paper. And I find a very old piece of sassafras lass paper that I thought would look good. I'm also uh, using, I'm just showing you there, uh, I'm just, I'm also using a sketch from Let's Get Sketchy blog um, and I will link up to my blog post where you can see where that is. So this sketch had uh, one photo and was using um, sort of strips, border strips in that spot. I'm just marking off where they are and then I'm using this really big, um, I think it's an envelope or the um, bag that my whole kit came in because I couldn't find a smaller piece um, to just do a little bit of extra on the background. It uh, totally did not go down how I was um, wanting it to. Um, I don't know why every time I use it I get like these weird hand marks so you can kind of see now and you, but you can't tell when I cover it up and in the end I'm happy with how it looks but I don't know I can never quite get it the way that I want it to uh, to go. So um, I'm also pulling out uh, this gold doily from my stash and then I decide to go back to this paper from the kit. I'm going to use that to um, do to mat my photo. So here I'm just cutting it out slightly uh, larger than 4 by 6 and honestly at this point I haven't even decided what this layout is about. I just went with um, colors that I liked and then I got to this point and decided I better figure it out. So I decided to use this photo that I took um, on Instagram just yesterday and it's a picture of um, a magnolia tree uh, looking up at a building. Um, so then I needed to make that mat a little bit smaller and here I was trying to be um, all Missy from the <laughs> hip clit design team. She just like rips and it goes so well and of course that didn't work so hot for me. Uh, so I had to fix it. So uh, it's probably practice. I'm sure it's just practice uh, but she does it in it and it just rips perfectly and I rip it and I'm like, oh, that's horrible. <laughs> but um, that's okay. Uh, so I'm using the thickers that came in the main kit here and then I'm just deciding I wanted to use two different types of letter stickers. Um, and we got this sheet of Webster's pages and I just didn't like the white, but there was some little gold tile ones, sorry, it's off camera, um, that I decided to use and that really helped because it pulled that gold together because um, I had the gold doily so then I, uh, use these gold as stickers as well and I thought that looked good. Um, the one thing I did notice though is it seemed like a lot of blue on the bottom um, so I'm just looking at stickers but I'm, I'm, I know I remember I'm thinking about this and thinking I need to pull in a little bit of the pink down there so there I've gone away and I've come back um, and I've just used um, a branding strip off of the bottom of one of the other sheets of paper that was sitting on my desk. And half of the bottom of the branding strip was this pink. I believe that's We Are Memory Keepers. Um, and I'm going to use that to just um, make an extra little border there and pull in a little bit of the pink to the bottom uh, so that it didn't seem like so much blue. Um, I didn't want to put um, the thickers down on that... Um, multicolored paper because I think that would have been too much so I wanted to keep that blue on the bottom and I think that kind of works to, to ground the layout but um, it was just a little bit much so as you can see right there I'm going to use that uh, and pull it in together. I also grabbed that little Polaroid and I backed it with some white paper to use for my uh, journaling um, and that's from uh, the Pink Fresh uh, die cut kit Apparently I can't think. It's just about dinner time here. I must have blood, low blood sugar or something. So sorry if I stutter all over the place. Um, I just finished doing this and wanted to uh, get the video done so I can try to get it uploaded fairly quickly. So there you can see I've put that uh, little piece of pink down and now I'm putting down these. And what I wasn't thinking is I wanted to put my photo up on um, some pop dots. And then what happened is is half of my title... Uh, was then flat and the other half was up on the photo. So I've ended up putting a little foam square in behind um, the the end of what to pop it up, but it's all wonky and they don't sit properly, but whatever. In the end, I, I fiddled with them a whole bunch of times and I've just decided to leave them. 
Um, yeah, so this layout actually went pretty quick. I ended up having to stop it a few times. The first um, two times I was working on it, I was just taking a break from work. And then this time I just needed a bigger break from work and decided to get it finished. So I'm just having a look through everything in the kit, deciding uh, what I want to do. I wanted to bring a little bit of um, something down into that left corner. And I thought about that label and now I've decided to pull this um, pretty chipboard flower cluster down there. And uh, that was pretty much all it needed. I wanted to keep it fairly uh, simple as I thought, um, you know, the background and the photos that, um, you know, you have to really have a look at it. So I didn't want to detract from it too, too much. And it's quite hard on the video to even tell what that photo is. But I thought it was kind of a nice um, kind of artsy photo of looking through these magnolia trees that there's some sun coming in from the corner and some some nice architecture uh, in downtown that I took yesterday. Uh, these are some pink fresh um, puffy gold hearts that I'm putting in um, and that was part of the sketch design um, that there was an element like that. I think there was stars on there. I'm using the hearts. Um, I'm a little bit stuck here so I decided to do my journaling and I've pulled out this pretty blue Chamel pen um, and my journaling is all wonky and because I didn't draw lines uh, but honestly it's one of those days where it's like whatever the layout is done I'm happy I wrote down what I wanted and um, yeah that's about that's about all I'm gonna get in today um, so I really liked this blue heart and I did stick it in and I'm looking at it now and I like it and I could have just left it just like this and been walked away. Could have walked away right now. Of course I did not walk away. I start looking around, look at other things. Um, go through the, um, oh yes, and of course, um, gold color shine. So put that down while I was thinking. Um, and then I remember we had these exclusive um, die cuts that came with the kit. So I'm shopping these around because they're really cool. Um, although I suspect they may end up on my um, project life because I, I really like them and the, I like the phrases on them uh, this month. Um, and now I'm looking at the stickers on that Webster's Pages kit. And I'm just playing around with it. It just, that seemed like way too much gold and blue. Um, and so you're gonna see me fiddle and I'm pulling a piece of pink and I'm just looking at it and going ah, oh, it's just there's no pink up there and most of that cluster is also hiding the pink that I put down on the background so I'm shopping around this pink um, sticker and it's just to me it's too big it just I wanted something small up there in the corner because it had that big heart so none of this is working for me at all end up pulling that back up too and I think it was just too much gold because it was kind of a yellowy gold and then I try this smile sticker again it's just too big um so gets shopped around gets put back um and then i'm looking through this die cut to see and then i find this pink happy and i just decide to replace the blue heart with the pink happy and then i i like that because you really can't see the pink on the background up in that corner it's just the way things laid down i had meant to actually put it a bit lower on the page so that um that pink uh, pinked circle brought a, quite a bit more um, up into that corner and kind of bounced it out a little bit um, and then I'm going to put this blue heart there as well. Uh, the only thing I'm going to change here between now and the close-up you're going to see in a minute is I've just moved um, those puffy gold like that one right there it's going to get moved just a little bit again and the one in the bottom left is going to get moved just a little bit and see here I'm fiddling with these again and I fiddle with them like five times. So um, yeah, that's it. That was a super fast one. Uh, I felt like I was uh, talking in circles, so hopefully it didn't sound quite as bad as it felt. Talk to you later. Bye.